Good morning, everyone. It's Pastor Bramick, and it is Thursday, May the 14th. And it's Deaconess Intern Elizabeth. And we are here again this morning for your daily devotions. We're going back to our kind of bread and butter morning devotion this morning on page 295 in your hymnal. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the morning, O Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning I prepare a sacrifice for you and watch. My mouth is filled with your praise. And with your glory all the day. O Lord, open my lips. And my mouth will declare your praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And Elizabeth is going to introduce the hymn for us. We're going to be singing hymn 508, The Day is Surely Drawing Near, and we're going to do verses 1 and 7. <clears throat> The day is surely drawing near when Jesus God's anointed in all his power shall appear as judge whom God appointed and bright shall banish idle mirth and flames on flames shall ravage earth, as Scripture long has warned us. O Jesus Christ, do not delay, but hasten our salvation. We often tremble on our way in fear and tribulation. Grant our fervent plea, come, mighty judge, and set us free from death and every evil. Our scripture reading continues in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 12, verse 54 and following. He also said to the crowds, When you see a cloud rising in the west, you say at once, a shower is coming, and so it happens. And when you see the south wind blowing, you say, there will be scorching heat, and it happens. You hypocrites, you know how to interpret the appearance of the earth and the sky, but why do you not know how to interpret the present time? And why do you not judge for yourselves what is right? As you go with your accuser before the magistrate, make an effort to settle with him on the way, lest he drag you to the judge. And the judge hand you over to the, to the officer, and the officer put you in prison. I tell you, you will never get out until you have paid the very last penny. So this is really a, a text about the immediacy of judgment, about how the Pharisees of Jesus' time knew how to interpret the signs of the weather, uh, but they did not know how to understand and how to see that the Messiah had come to be among them, and that there was an immediacy to, uh, for recalls to repentance and for coming to repentance and for receiving Jesus Christ as the Messiah. So they could interpret all of these things as signs of the earth, but they did not know how to interpret uh, the signs of the Old Testament that were coming true before them. And that with Jesus, that uh, there was going to be a, a, a coming day of judgment in which people would be made to pay the last pen, pen, penny, sorry, uh, unless they were believers in Christ. And, of course, we know that Christ paid uh, every last penny of the debt that we owe to God for our sin. And so because of that, our debts have been paid for, and we are now free of debt, and we are now free before God um, as his ransomed and redeemed children. So that's what Jesus is saying today in the text in Luke chapter 12. We continue now back in your hymnal with the prayers at the bottom of 295. Almighty God, merciful Father, who created and completed all things, on this day, when the work of our calling begins anew, we implore you to create its beginning, direct its continuance, and bless its end, that our doings may be preserved from sin, our life sanctified, and our work this day be well-pleasing to you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. And I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, 
that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. All right. Elizabeth, what announcements do you have for us this morning? So, looking ahead to this weekend, um, we're going to keep an eye on the weather, but we're still shooting to have a, a women's coffee hour at the Pagel household on their patio outside. Um, and if things change, I'll keep you updated on that. But it will also be offered on Zoom as well, and that's at 10 in the morning this Saturday. And then also in the evening on Saturday, we have young adult gathering through Zoom at 632. Okay, and I sent out an uh, announcement yesterday in the email newsletter just basically saying that our sanctuary carpet has now arrived at the store. So uh, we may go ahead and just put that in in the next week or two uh, just so that we have it uh, all set up for when we get the chancel furniture. We're in the process now of talking with the designer about the baseboard and, and choosing a final baseboard that will be uh, used to adorn our chancel area. Uh, we are hoping that maybe we could do a dedication by the end of the month, but I'm trying to pin the designer down on when he might be able to bring the furniture up. So please continue to watch for announcements about that. And uh, again, this coming Sunday, we have our parking lot service at 8.30 with our regular main service at, at 10.30 a.m. So hope to see you all for one of those. The Lord bless the rest of your day as well as your week.